In the previous lesson on Dreamweaver, we started to open up some template and started to investigate a little bit how the, the software it works, and that is uh, WYSIWYG, which means what you see is what you get. So basically, it divides, it splits into two parts, and we can work in the code by changing directly the, the code itself, or we can edit the page directly with the live preview that is pretty close of what we was gonna see on a web browser if we uh, do a preview here on a web browser or if we publish the page. So Dreamweaver will help you a lot to create your code and understand what HTML is and how it works and also CSS and other uh, programming language that uh, are more complex if you want to continue with that. Now, we already saw that if I close everything, we go back here to the on page and from the on page we can open up the recent we can go to quick start or we can use the starter templates as we already know now in this video i want to do a new document starting with quick start and also i want to do a little bit of theory i already explained that this is going to be a basic course so we start from the beginning from the really basics and so i want to give you also some really basic information about what html is what uh, the web is internet etc etc because I think you need to know those uh, theoretical uh, parts in order to have a complete picture. So um, from here, I can start a new HTML document. We saw that that was completely blank, but also we can create a new CSS. So um, I'm just gonna give you a rough explanation of uh, most of these languages. Now, HTML means hypertext markup language. So that stands for, uh, HTML stands for, and then, CSS, it means cascade style, style sheet, which means that um, these are mainly used to create a style and the structure of the website. In the HTML, instead, we have more the content, more the textual content. And then we have other stuff like JavaScript, so JS or PHP, which is um, to use, uh, to do programming and to have like interactive website and usually combines with an SQL, which is for database. So you do a query and then the, you return with some information from the database. So it's way more complex than creating a simple website just with HTML, CSS and, you know, J JavaScript. Then we have Bootstrap, which is a package of, um, elements that are ready-made so you just need to go there and customize them and this is to speed up the CSS uh, styling process and then we have other stuff here and that this one here in particular this is to set up an entire site this is important to manage the website that you're gonna use and SVG is scalable vector graphics which is not really something we want to do here probably want to use illustrator or you want to use inkscape or autocad and it's a uh, vector graphics it's a little bit different from standard pixel graphics but if you want to know more about vector graphics you find the courses in the channel you can search for in the channel if you're looking for something specific so let's start by searching html html stands for hypertext markup language meaning that is basically based on the hypertext and the, the hypertext is a text connected with other text through links so this is the really you know core of the whole uh, concept here is not to have like a standard document the one that you can you could print but a document that is connected with other documents and that's going to give you the possibility to go from a topic to another really quick and you know it's a, a more effective a more optimized way to to build a, your knowledge your your study so this was born at the beginning of time you know, of the web was born to exchange documents and um, information in a school uh, in a university scenario but we're gonna get there so hypertext markup language so hypertext stands for the hypertext which you just saw markup is about marking um, pieces of text that will not be like simple text anymore but will be um, some specific tags that will represent something so uh, you know it's a generic markup is a generic term so if we go in the 
HTML, markup HTML. Um, maybe we'll show here something. Uh, so, well, we saw before that we open up in Dreamweaver the uh, a document. So you saw that it contain all these uh, little arrows. We can call this minus and uh, or uh, bigger than or uh, smaller than. This this signs right here. They define tags. So everything is defined by a tag in the HTML. And we always have an opening tag, which looks something like this, with the, some little text inside, and a closing tag with the little slash. So these are not simple uh, texts in HTML, but they are um, representing the tags or you know some really important elements. So they are marking up parts of the text. Language is the language because it's not, uh, you know, Italian or English. It's a specific language. It's not a programming language, but is a code that uh, is used by the browsers like uh, Google Chrome or Brave or Opera or other browsers. Let me just do a duplication here so we can see also this. So what is a browser that you usually install or you already have installed a web browser? It's basically an app, like um, another software installed in your computer, that will communicate with the web. And with the web, it will exchange, exchange information. Those information are mainly made with HTML, with the upper text markup language. So they communicate with this language. I'm using Brave right now, which is a, another browser. And I can expect the, the code. If I go here in the tools, there are always something about uh, the inspection because it's it's uh, kind of open source anyone can see how this page was made and let me see here in the other tools so this is kind of a advanced tools usually so if we go here uh, developer uh, tools but you know this is not so important just to show you that for any page we see on the web we can go there and check the languages that have been used the styles so Cascade style sheet, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, if you want to inspect more, but we, we don't care about this right now. Just want to show you that the browser is always about web pages. So it's about the web. So what is the web? Maybe you always use this term, but you don't really know what it is. Well, the web is also uh, sometimes confused with internet. So we have these two terms: internet and the web. Now be careful because the internet is actually bigger than the web. So internet is the entire uh, connection that uh, happens in the world using various and uh, nets. So using various, uh, let's say, channels of communication. So some of these are private, some of these are public, some of these, you know, they are whatever. So it's a global network and uh, that, that uh, permits to exchange information, permits communication, and it's all, sometimes it's also connected. So uh, when we access our mail, for example, that's a private space, but it's still connected to the web. We can access our mail with a web uh, page. So it's a complex um, group of many, many, many different nets many different channels and in this universe we find the web the web is a specific channel a specific uh, connection and it's also called the world wide web so this is why we usually see when we type um, the address of a website we see www it stands for world wide web and it will get you to a certain space. It's like you're typing an address. So if I duplicate again, and I say, okay, I'm gonna go to YouTube. So I'm gonna go www.youtube.com. Now that name right here, this is the domain. So when you have, when you own a space on the web, you own a domain, you're gonna have here the name and this is also, if it's commercial or perhaps it's going to be like organization or it. So in order to have a website, you need to buy a domain and you need to buy a web space because even though everything is kind of 
cloudy as, as it's also another term the cloud or it's not visible well this actually is mount on uh, a server so everything you see here every page everything it runs through the web is not you know air but it's uh, it's um, based on servers which are big computers that store a lot of information and they are uh, working 24 hours a day, seven days a week without ever stopping. And this is where you usually put your website. And these servers will let other people from all around the world connect and see your website or your web pages. Now, all this is taking care of some hostings. So let me just duplicate again. So we have the hosting, we have providers that will give us usually the domain and the server space, so the, the space in, in their computer, and our website will be there to be published and, and in the web so that everyone in the world can see our website. Now, there are a lot of services, a lot of providers that will give you uh, the hosting and the domain. They have different offers, so you can just go there and check them out. Now, you can do this already. You can just wait to, to know a little bit more about how everything works, but essentially you need to choose a domain name if you want to publish your website and it needs to be something not too complex, it needs to be easily remembered. And these are all the other information right here, how the web address is composed basically. So we have the www stands for the web domain name, top level domain and HTTPS. Now this is something that also is usually hidden behind here the curtains it's right here and it's kind of a strange code itself well this means let me just duplicate this this meal this means hypertext transfer protocol okay so again we have the word hypertext so that's why it's really important transfer because we are transferring data, we are uploading, downloading data or information, we are exchanging information using the HTML language protocol because you know it's kind of a series of rules and it's a process. Now the inventor of all of this is called Tim Berners-Lee, so you probably want to know who kind of uh, you know got, got everything together and created the web. Well, that's Tim Berners-Lee. And uh, you, you can see all the information, of course, about uh, Tim Merlin. He is the inventor of the World Wide Web, the HTML markup language, the URL system, which is based on the HTTP. So URL means the address that you're going to have for your website. So URL is Uniform Resource Locator, meaning that you can have a specific address for a unique place on the internet. Remember that that unique place is not like in the air, is not cloud, but it's actually in, on a server. So on something that is physical, on a piece of hardware. Now let's jump back to Tim Berners-Lee. And also I want to give you another suggestion to read the book that he wrote. It's called We Wing the web and it's basically its story about how it created the, the web so it's really interesting to know how everything was generated and how then it, it followed now at the moment Tim Berners-Lee it's uh, the if we go here let me see here um, well th this is not oh there it is there is a link now this is the organization that is behind the web so the w3.org we can see that we have also information about Tim Berners-Lee right here. Now, at the moment, he is also a member of the board of director of the World Wide Web Consortium, which is uh, W3C, and it's, again, in this website. And this is uh, the organization that uh, manages, in a way, or checks uh, or, like, um, oversee everything here on the web. What are the standards? and uh, what is the chosen language, uh, whatever. So they, they kind of run everything uh, about um, the web and check that everything works fine. And also we saw that we have a validator in, the, in, in Dreamweaver using the W3C organization. 
So that's another really important thing to take note. Now also another website that I really suggest if you look for HTML, one of the first here is going to be W3 Schools. Now this is a really important and really uh, popular website when you can start also to learn HTML and with tutorials and you have here if we go we have all the languages so HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SQL, PHP, etc etc bootstrap so everything here is explained everything here is uh, you know really well organized especially for the one who wants to begin and to learn how to write some language how to uh, do a little bit of um, uh, writing and also programming if you want to go further um, and here uh, we have some also some examples so this is a, an example of a really a small page a small HTML document and we can also go here and do try yourself and it's gonna open up you can see kind of a Dreamweaver um, setting so when you have the, the left side the code the right side the preview so again is what you see is what you get meaning that this is what you're gonna get you see this is an example with an heading and a paragraph they all have different tags or different markup and so this is simple text this is markup and etc etc this is the the HTML and also we have like things divided into topics so if we want to know more about let's say we want to know more about images you can go here and you see how can HTML uh, support images or uh, link images and this is uh, in Italy by the way it's Italian uh, like ancient um, architecture okay so that's another really important thing you you may want to take note of now usually you will see also another type of HTTP which is HTTPS which means basically a secure and uh, recognize so it's uh, basically uh, an extension uh, of the hypertext transfer protocol and also Wikipedia Wikipedia is the perfect example of a website and it's internationally known its uh, rankings are you know the top also uh, this one here uh, W3 schools you will always hear appearing here because it has a really high ranking these are websites that have a really high reputation they've been here for a long long time and they have built uh, you know uh, a lot of clients or users or followers now um, Wikipedia is the perfect example of hypertext so if we go here we can scroll down and if we start to read and uh, you can see here I have a link so if I click on this link it's gonna bring me into another page World Wide Web so I'm gonna read here and you can see there are other links which are underlined with the blue and the bl uh, line on, on the bottom so when I just click here what I'm doing is just moving from a text to another text thanks to the hypertext mechanism so that's uh, a per perfect explanation of how web pages work. So each one of these is a different page. We can see the address of the pages right here on the top. If we double click, we expand, we can see also HTTPS and all the rest of the address with the, the domain, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully now you know a little bit more better what you are doing probably every day and you didn't perhaps never um, investigate on that. So also you probably did a lot of uh, researches on Google on other search engines. So what is a search engine? A search engine is another website like for example, Google. And so if I type here search engine, so it's gonna help you to find the contents that you're looking for in the various uh, texts and hypertexts on the web and you know it's gonna run a research through the words that are on those websites and it's gonna bring here the top website at the top and then you know the more you go down and you, you see all the numbers here so we are getting down and down in the research meaning we have like smaller and smaller and smaller websites 
etc etc so if your website is going to be like on the on the 100th page is probably because it's not so um, popular and doesn't have like a really long and good reputation etc etc but eventually you're gonna find it uh, somewhere if you're gonna be specific here in the keywords you're gonna find it more likely so when we do a search here when we search for words specific words or also called keywords well in that case the Google search engine or the other search engine they run a search looking for that words and giving you the results right here based on rankings and those rankings are based on the CEO CEO which means oh sorry it's actually SEO which means there is uh, search engine optimization which means that this website they are really good and so they are optimized to be founded and uh, to, to, to with a, with a you know simple research on the web but we're gonna talk about um, a lot of things later so this is this was just a theoretical overview of what we're doing here in Dreamweaver and also not only in Dreamweaver because you can type HTML using even you know the simplest word processor so why do we use uh, Dreamweaver well first of all because it's gonna help us a lot and the text is colored so you can easily understand let me just open another template here so you can easily understand all the single parts of the HTML language and otherwise everything here would be like black and white or white on blacks and it will be way more difficult to spot like a tag or a name or a simple text which is in white here etc etc so um i think it's uh, good enough for this um uh, for this lesson now this is just one page you can see this is html so if you want to create an entire website we need more pages and we also need like a navigation menu to go into the pages but again we're gonna talk about this in in another lesson so i hope again that you have a, now a clear idea of what we're doing here we are creating an html page once it's finished we need to put it on a server we need to have a domain we need to buy a domain we need to buy a, ser a server space to put our um, documents and publish them as web pages as a website and that's it so i think i'm gonna stop right now if you enjoyed this video subscribe to stay updated for more or check if they are, they are already published if you want to support us if you want to thank us join the channel as a supporter and check our other courses on graphic design web design and vector graphics and much much more just search in the channel in the search bar you'll find the content you're looking for so thanks and see you in the next